I really enjoy detective fiction. And I've always liked um, the, the story. I've been very curious about the solution. I like the suspense. But I also like the fundamental sense of justice. You know, that the, the goodies win and the, the baddies are revealed. When I was a child, well, one of the things I wanted to be was a detective and probably another one was a, a politician. I wanted to change the world, I wanted to make the world a better place. I did have a strong sense of social justice. I think that's a bit from being the elder sister with two younger uh, brother and sister, so you wanted to make sure they got a fair hearing. My parents and my grandparents are all sort of social campaigners, and so I did have a sense of um, not everybody having a fair chance. I spent a lot of my youth campaigning against apartheid, and one of the main techniques we used was to boycott. Anti-apartheid really taught me that you can really make a difference by the goods and services you buy or you don't buy. We were picketing the headquarters of Sainsbury's and the guard asked us to come in and I was sort of thinking, oh goodness, what, you know, what have we done wrong with this picket? And it was the wine buyer wanted to ask us how they should be buying wine in a post-apartheid South Africa. And in a way, that question then has motivated a lot of what I've done next because I realised that if you could take the passion that people had to boycott the products from South Africa and you could make them use the power in their pocket to buy the goods and services that would make the world the way they'd like it to be, then we really could make the world a better place. I feel as if everybody tells you what you can't do and tells you that things are impossible and things seem insurmountable. And then when you've done it, you realise you could do it. And so I sort of hope that by doing things, proving the impossible possible, then inspires people to take action. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.